good old coffee. Welcome to the very first episode of a little something I like to call story time with Rob for Films. I'm going to use this little platform to tell various stories from my life and I think it should be pretty interesting. If not, I apologize ahead of time, but please watch till the end. This first one has to do with a Christmas story. The year, I don't know, it was in the 90s. Um, I think we need a little backstory. So when I was growing up, uh, my family told me that we were middle class. And so I thought, well, that's not too bad. We're not high class. We're not low class, at least, but we're middle class. Okay, well, that makes sense. And then I started meeting other people as an adult and realized they weren't exactly truthful with me about that whole middle class thing. Basically, the classes are tiered within themselves. So there's low, low class, there's middle, low class, and there's high, low class, and then low, middle class, and so on. Uh, apparently we were middle low class, not middle class. That's a whole different thing. And so basically we had everything we needed to survive. Uh, and my parents were too proud to accept help or anything like that. So they just worked additional jobs, which most of the time they brought us along to work with them. Uh, there's a cleaning business, you know, where we did stripped and waxed floors on Thanksgiving while other families were really enjoying their, their family time. I uh, don't think there was a Mother's Day that we probably didn't spend cleaning some pet clinic somewhere and scraping up feces. Yeah, mom was never overly happy about that. You know, we had what we needed, and I had a great childhood. I loved my family very much, and I wouldn't change a thing. I was a rather large kid. This may be a surprise, but I was a big kid. You know, like my feet grew rather quickly as well. I had to support this, this body, and so... As time went on, I kept up with my age with my feet. So if I was seven, I wore a seven, eight, I wore eights. I don't know why that worked. It just was pretty regular about November, which is my birthday. I needed new shoes. And so Christmas, I would usually get a new pair of shoes uh, that were a larger size. Well, uh, that worked great. However, uh, Walmart carries sizes to, shoot men's shoe sizes to about 13. So when I turned 14, my parents were in a real pickle. They, they knew I needed new shoes. They didn't really know how to go about getting them since their store didn't carry them. In the long run, they were forced to go to the mall, which was great because I really wanted this pair of Nikes. I wasn't looking for Jordans here. You know, I'm fine with what I get. But I just wanted something that was a name brand pair of shoes. Nikes were the thing. After the whole Reebok pump incident where, you know, you know those pumps where Reebok came out with them, I don't know, late 80s, early 90s maybe, and, and you pump the tongue, it looks like a basketball. And you'd... If I could play today, I'd pump up for support, protection, and a custom fit. It would air your shoe up or it like filled around your foot. <laughs> oh man, I wanted some of those so bad. My parents were so pumped, 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 pumped. And they came home right before basketball season and told me they bought me some. I mean, I was like, what? <laughs> no way you bought me these shoes. I mean, this is like a freaking week salary for you guys. I get them. They were not Reebok pump. They were a pump though. I pumped them up after I got them, super excited. And then like there was a little sound and powder. Back to my story. I really wanted a pair of Nikes with the little like see-through air pocket thing around, you know, around it where you can kind of see in the sides. Christmas morning, my parents, they were so obvious about things like that. I could always tell what the good gift was because they always give it to you last and they always pretend like, oh, you're all out of gifts. You know, it's, they're, I, okay, I do the exact same thing with my children. I, I, yeah, it was fun. It brings the excitement out. And I opened them up, and man, I loved them. The, the, my, my, they were amazing. I was a little concerned. This day and age, I don't think anyone would truly understand. They were like pink and white and black, if I remember correctly. And pink was not an acceptable color for uh, a young man at the time. Now, you know, later since then we realized that's just ridiculous. And, and, you know, pink's good for anyone. A little incident happened Christmas morning after opening them. It's my own fault. It really was. Just a little bit of backstory, once again. 
I was a very messy child. I would uh, just leave random things in the floor. Pretty disgusting. I'll be perfectly honest, it was gross. Sometimes, you know, like I would take a shirt off and I would just rip it out of the closet and the hanger would fall on the ground. And back then we had metal hangers. Story goes as follows. I go to my room, I put on my, my shoes. Man, they fit like a glove. They were good, they looked good. I had a mirror there, I was checking them out. I'm doing that traditional, like where I pretend like I'm running really fast in slow motion so that it's like I could pretend if I actually could run, what it would look like. You could play like Chariots of Fire. <music> Whatever you need to do. I'm kind of strutting around in the mirror, like, what's up, I'm looking good. You know, probably making some kind of like little googly eyes. I think I put sunglasses on a couple times to be like, yeah. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Yeah, working these shoes. As one of my steps struts through the room, uh, I got kind of tangled up a little bit on some of the debris in the floor. One of the metal hangers kind of had a little, was a little up, a little bent up caught the corner of the back of that air pocket on the inner side of my right shoe, I will never forget this, went right in the hole. It's like, right in there, just done. Yeah. No, that's a lot of damage. I was in a panic and I knew my parents were gonna be mad, but I pulled it out and I hear, there was a lot of, there was apparently a lot of air in there. I put the shoe back on. Every time I took a step, you would hear st, 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 super annoying, like over the top. Everyone hated it, but I mean, my, I wasn't gonna get another pair of shoes. So I wore them every day. I remember cutting the toes out, making sandals of those by summer. The worst part is this. I didn't anticipate this until the first rain. If you're walking along and I'm st, 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 right? Then you get to a puddle and you're like st, st, Yeah, just like that. St, 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 sucks the water into the shoe. Gets better, you take this foot forward, you come back out and you step and <laughs> shoots water all over your inner leg on the left side. It's insane. And so every time I take a step, I had to do this little weird jiggy walk in the water and make sure I turn my foot out so it squirts forward and didn't hit my leg. And so people just looked at me like I was completely insane all the time. So it brought way more attention to me. Man, I miss those shoes. <laughs> those things were great. If I could find those again in my size, I'd wear those proudly. I don't know that I would pop the air pocket though. That did kind of suck. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope uh, you have a great holiday season. Uh, if you don't mind, please subscribe to this channel. I'm working really hard to build it and to bring fresh content weekly, at least by summer, maybe daily or a few times a week. Hit the little subscribe button down the bottom. There's a little bell next to it that alerts you anytime I put a new video up. Please put, click that little thumbs up down there. Tell me you like this. If you don't like it, click a thumbs down. I mean, be honest, you don't have to just do it, but thumbs ups are better. Thank you, Merry Christmas, and I hope you get everything you wanted. Spend a lot of time with your family. I would do anything to have all my family together in one room, one last time. So if they're all with you, appreciate it, no matter how annoying that little sister or brother is cousin and even if your mom and dad are getting on your nerves love them because they love you see you guys peace out girl scout <laughs>